Hello and welcome to the first ever race of the 2015.1 season at Simrace South Africa. 2015.1 of course represents the first season of the year as we have planned to have three seasons during this new year. And this is the South African Sim GT Sprint Series at Silverstone. Squadra Ghostworks have locked up the front row. Of course they're fresh after winning the 2014 Teams Championship with Bashir Jadwat winning the Drivers Championship. Jonathan Bentz has put it on pole position for race one. He starts ahead of teammate Bashir Jadwat to complete the first row. Row two sees Boyd Bryson for Extreme Racing starting in third position. Ahead of newcomer to the series, first ever race for him, Mark Hennebury starts in fourth position. Chris Brown will start in fifth position for Shadow Ghostworks ahead of Chris Heineke for Heineke Racing Team in 6th position. Row 4 sees Marcus Stein for Shadow Ghostworks starting ahead of Maurice van Beek for Deltek Racing Team. Ken Hunter starts from 9th and he will round out the field. As you can see the guys are revving up their motors and we are about ready to stop the race. Heading down to turn one, looks to be a good start for Jonathan Benz. The Shea Judd Watt holds out in second position for Boyd Bryson. Boyd Bryson is right on it as well. He's keeping his eye on the two guys up front. As you see, Bashir Judd Watt with a move up the inside at village corner. Shed Judd Watt has gone to the front, that did not take long at all. Boy Bryson, I understand with them. So we look at Heineke, Chris Heineke in fourth position. He's fending off Chris Brown. The Shadow Ghostworks class of Chris Brown and Marcus Dane still with the Ghostworks 3.0 liveries. They will be changing that for round two at Imola. Kusanika Jingwon is first ever race in the South African Sim GT series. Holding off this man, Chris Brown. Beckett's we go looking at Jonathan Benz as he, he makes an error can Boyd Bryson take advantage of that no, he can't he's not quite close enough an extreme racing car in third position as you look at Chris Brown in the background and look at this man Heineke Jadwat with a coffee gap back to teammate Jonathan Benz. Benz with his lots of blaze. Boy Brassel in fifth position, a multiple winner in the 2014 season. We'll be looking to have a slightly better season for each challenge for the championship win at the end. This championship consisting of six rounds with the final standings that count the best five rounds. So the worst round gets dropped at the end of the season. And that is to, to negate any problems the guys might have. Maybe they are a victim of load shedding or they have a connection problems. Uh, that worst round gets dropped to negate that. Blue wood coat corner we go. With Chris Heineke looking back at Chris Brown. This is Maurice Van Beek, unfortunately, without his proper paint scheme. He's 
having a go with Mark Hen Henneberry, which is Henneberry's too. Ken Hunter behind Morris van Beek in the second of the extreme racing cars. Big slide by Judge Watt. I don't think he's lost too much time there. Slight twitch again. Out of Vale Corner. Just on a lap three through Abbey. Fast right hander. Get a good exit out of that corner. Run down the farm curve. Into village. Oh, and Chris Brown has made an error. Off he goes. Heineken is through into third position I think and that is fantastic progress by Hanukkah in his first race on debut of course into fourth position after his teammate's error. Chris Brown is rejoined in fifth. But Chris Brown accelerate up to 250 kilometers an hour. Approach to Stowe Corner. Mark, I apologize if I'm mispronouncing your surname wrong. See, I was saying Henneberry, but I'm reading your name now. I think it's Henbury. I will confirm that with you before round two at Imola. We only had nine starters for this race, although we do have 15 entrants for this championship. But they could not make it for whatever reason. And we do have for a bigger field for round two. And hopefully new entrants coming in as well. like to join the racing you're more than welcome to visit our website at www.simracesa.co.za and there you can visit the getting started pages to understand what is required to get involved in the racing at Sim Race South Africa and there's a detailed uh, as an instruction manual of what to do and what you need the type of equipment and the nights that we race on Click on the different championship uh, about pages to understand what they are about. We're watching the GT Sprint Championship, which consists of two races per round, two sprint races of around 20 minutes. It is calculated too. And then we have the GT Endurance Racing, which has the which is a one race per round format, and the races range from about 40 minutes to an hour depending on the track and software requirements and then of course we have the single seater racing the SS3 and SS1 series SS3 is like Formula 3 type cars which act as a feeder series to 
our flex chip series which is the SS1 series which race from the one type cars SS3 series is two races per round and the SS1 one race per round but please visit our website and have a good read and get involved the racing is fantastic Boy Bryson has dropped down to 7th position I think we did miss that off camera Bryson must have been in third position when he dropped down to seventh. Waiting for Merton Hanika to third, Marcus Stein to fourth. Chris Brown to fifth position. Mark Henbury, of course, to sixth position. Stein now much closer to. Heineke Heineke doing a sterling job in third position Sandeke said to me before the race that he reckons his teammate Mark Henbury is faster but it hasn't gone that way with Heineke leading the way in the team in third position and his teammate in sixth position What our race leader Bashir judge what through Luffield Fence is maintaining the gap. Benz just has four laps left if he's going to try something. There'll be no team orders at this stage of the championship, of course, with this being first race of round one. to the number 35 from round 2 onwards this was the car that Johannes Kutsia piloted for the team last season
Beck in seventh position. The Delta Racing Team. Z4 GT3 sounding glorious. Three stone corner. Shooting flames out of the exhaust as well. Dramatic stuff. And Stan is through on Heinecke. Can Heinecke come back at him into Bell? Yes, he can around the outside. What a move by the deputant. What else can Stan do now? Here comes his teammate Brown. They're gonna run very close three club corner. It's going to be three, three wide into Abby. Will it end in tears? No, it doesn't. And here comes Henbury. Trying to take advantage of the chaos. And he's doing that. He's gone past Brown. Slight contact there between, I think that was Stain and Henbury, so that hasn't worked out well for Henbury. A bigger part in that is Chris Heineke in the HRT car that made contact with Stain, I think it was. It's not over with two laps to go. What else do we have in store? As we see, I think that is Chris Brown. He's lost it exiting that last corner. Stain has got away in third position. Embury in fourth, just ahead of Bryson in fifth, and then Heineke in sixth, of course. Stain looking good for a podium finish. Ben's not able to close the gap to this man, Bashir Jadwat, the 2014.2 Drivers' Champion for the GT Series. Rassin is now closer to Henbury. Straight we go. Just one lap remaining after this one.
Sergeant Rogers started the last lap of the race. Embry suddenly much closer to Stan. He's going to take the fight to Stan for that last podium position. Watch Benz three cops for the last time. Time for this race, of course. Race 2 is coming up after this. Bashir Judd Watt will win race one, the first race of the season. Jonathan Benz finishes in second position, but who will finish in third? Surely Marcus Stein will get it if he doesn't mess up this exit, he does not. Marcus Stein will finish in third position ahead of Hennebury and Boyd Bryson. Chris Heineke will finish in 6th position. Van Veek finishes in 7th position for Delta Racing Team ahead of Ken Hunter. In 8th for Team Racing, Chris Brown has retired from the race unfortunately. Well, what an exciting race that was. And we look forward to more in race 2. Well, that concludes race 1 from me, Jason Holden-Jones. Thank you very much for joining me. And let's look forward to a great race too. Cheers for now.